That's how these hoes do, bro. When shit don't go mad, they gon' jump whatever dick jumping at the time. Bro. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> Proud of me, consistently a fuck up like a back house house surrounding me. me. Niggas, I was loyal to, but I'm a back they clowning me. I was really digging this little bitch and she shipped out on me. Put this in that bell, nigga, she went out of town on me. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the support. Love you too. How you doing today? I hope you're having a good day if you're still here. You expose yourself and that shit you never know about. Welcome in, guys. Much love, much love. We're going to see if we're out of the void or if we got stuck in the TikTok void. Sometimes when we go on on weird times, it's pretty late for me. Sometimes we get stuck in little mini voids and we got to go out and come back in. My dad won't go for the rest of the What are you up to? It has been wild with all the energy going on today. I don't know if you've been feeling that too, but the energy is like all over the place, but like in a really good way. So I hope that you're enjoying the day and it's not knocking you to the, you know, curb or nothing. Rocking my baby because his sister poked him in the eye. Okay, rip. Rip, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah. I was the younger sister, so I completely... I understand getting rough out. The beautiful thing about energy is that you can recharge at any moment. So while you sit there rocking that baby, plant your feet in the ground, start charging up. You know, make yourself a transmuter for what that baby's feeling after getting poked in the eye. You know, that way you'll be able to not only cycle your energy, but cycle your baby's energy. That way you guys can get back on track. Miss Tanya! How's it going? Let's see if we can get a couple people in here, kind of push through the uh, the top void. And if not, I'll go out and in, but I don't want to unless I have to. So we'll just kind of see. We are doing reads today, and the list is open. We're doing 12-12 for subscribers, and we're doing 15-15 for non-subscribers. Oh, I feel for him. I think it's just sleep deprived. Oh my god, yeah, no worries. Honestly, sleep's been wild. Been wild lately. Welcome in, welcome in. Sleep has been wild. Um, I never, I never, uh, I'm gonna be real honest, I never claimed to tell the future. You know? But, I appreciate you being here. You know? Thank you for your opinion and your your love and connection to Christ. That's cool. 
And I'm also not witchcraft. I don't, uh, I don't label myself as witchcraft. But thank you. So, I'm gonna be real honest. I, um, I only view planetary shifts as draining or amplifying what's already currently present, right? So, um, you know what I mean? So, it could be an amplification of draining type energy, but it is still highlighting an energy that is either, um, I don't want to say lacking because that sounds awful, but just something that is naturally pulling on you, it'll amplify that. Um, or you could be having a lot of trouble rebounding from the energies that you were picking up around you. So it's just more, it's more than just because Pluto shifted, but it does heighten things and bring more awareness to things that are maybe lacking within your own personal energetic hygiene, your own spiritual hygiene. You know what I mean? Because we have the ability to recharge every day and we can recharge multiple times a day, you know? And you can be very planetary um, in tune and that can have a larger effect on you, you know? But it just also is teaching you what to look at and what affects you so that way you can have a choice as to whether or not it affects you and on what level it affects you. You know what I mean? And yeah, dude, like, planetary shifts have been wild lately. I think I heard somewhere that, like, I think it's fixed signs. I think it's fixed signs or something is... I don't know, something weird's happening or... I only, like... I only follow astro astrological things when my team or my guides or something pulls me towards it and they tell me to pay attention to something. But in my specific team, uh, like, in my specific team, the way that they work, they'll use it more as confirmation. So if I'm sitting here and I'm like, man, I don't know what's going on. Like, this is this. I've tried this, this, this. And you know what I mean? Like, why is this not working? Or why does it seem like everybody around in the collective is blah, 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 blah. And I'm noticing this is an increase. This is a decrease. And then they'll point me towards something or something will just pop up. And then I'm like, oh, and then I read about it and I'm like, oh, that makes sense, you know? So it's like wild. And they do that with the phases of the moon too. Like, um, you know, they might highlight a new moon or a full moon in my space, but then it's like they just let it go because otherwise you're just a slave to the, you know what I mean? Like you fall victim to allowing that to be an excuse. And it's not there to be an excuse. It's just there for confirmation and to assist and naturally provide amplification of energy or a decrease in energy, you know what I mean, to recharge things. James and Jerry going to win our case. I don't know, Mr. James, but if you are still here, we are doing reads today, and they are 12-12 for subscribers and 15-15 for non-subscribers. So if you would like me to feel into whatever case you have going on, I can do that, um, and I can just tell you what the team and the guides and all that are saying, you know, how do you, how do I like to recharge throughout the day? Honestly, it depends. Um, grounding, although is like everybody's go-to is not always my recharge point. Um, I'm very energy based, but I'm really connected to all of the five elements, including ether or spirit or space, depending on how you want to what culture you're taking it from. Um, but sometimes it's just kind of turning off and being human. Um, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so I am a natural medium. So I grew up talking to dead people and it doesn't, you know, that's not like a woo woo like thing. Um, not boasting, but, um, sometimes, um, the turning off is really, really important. So sometimes, like, recharging for me is just turning the switch off and going to be human. Um, I had to learn to recharge my energy through food. And I don't mean physically eating anything. I just mean, like, when you're... I mean, you can. But don't eat your feelings. That's not what I'm talking about. But you can envision um, energy being recharging to the light body or vessel when you are eating. So when you have a minute to eat lunch, you can picture your food recharging. Um, you could do the same thing with water. Um, view your body like a tank. You're drinking something. 
uh, view your, you know, your energy being refilled. Um, but, um, that's one way. I love the water element in general. Sometimes, and depending on what I'm feeling or the energies in the collective, sometimes the ground is too stable. Like, and that sounds really silly because you're like, we're grounding, we're getting ourselves stable. But sometimes your uh, and your whoosh is literally um, too much of the earth element. Sometimes you're too heavy in the earth element. So grounding wouldn't be helpful because you're adding more earth element. So sometimes you have to switch into something else, either an air element or a fire element. Or I love water because water has movement to it. It is both calming, but it is flowing. And that is over half of what we're trying to do is go with the flow, connect. So sometimes when you feel bogged down and you feel sluggish, sometimes that's too much earth. That's too much heavy weight. That's too much stability in your energy field. So you can switch it up with water and you can allow water to run over your hands. You can hop in the shower. Um, those are all great recharges and you can talk to the elements. And I know people think that's crazy and I was right there like, who man, I don't know, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I remember when I was told by my mentor at the time and he was like, well, go take a shower and, you know, talk to the water, ask it to do something for you. And I was like, what? And I was like, oh, he's like, just trust me. I was like, okay. That it opened my eyes to the greatest, um, you know what I mean? They're saying yes, but keep your expectations low, Mags. Yes, but keep your expectations low because they're saying if you go in with an expectation, it'll never hold up to the envision that you have in your mind. So they're saying be careful not to disappoint yourself because the hair is going to come out just fine. Um, oh, no worries. I don't know why I felt the need to answer that, but I did. <laughs> um, usually I don't, but I did. Um... So, yeah, so sometimes when they just give those things to you, um, you know what I mean? It's silly, but that's the truth. Sometimes when you're sluggish, you need to get moving. And air is a great way to get moving. Fire, when you're delving with your creativity, is a great way to get moving. But when you deal with fire, you have to be careful. Because if you're not healed in certain parts of your fire element, your fire can become very destructive very quickly. So you just have to be careful. You want to make sure that you can steer your fire you know, about something else, um, and steer it into your creativity and your passion and not necessarily, um, your fire of anger or your fire of anything else that would be more of your destructive force, you know? So a good way to work with the fire element in kind of combination with your, um, with your air element would be, um, a lot of things, um, a lot of things about, um, uh, with the sun. The sun is, is a representation of the fire element, but you being outside and playing in the wind while absorbing the sun's rays is a good way to do that both times. Um, so kind of focusing on those two elements. But to be honest, I really love water, you know? No, because I was so anxious about it. I had to shave my hair because of chemo. This is my first haircut since. Dude, I completely understand I completely understand my, my, I've had cancer throughout my, um, throughout my, uh, family. It has, I've had many different types of cancer throughout my family and my aunt just overcame, um, just overcame breast cancer and she actually did like the freeze cap, uh, because she was scared to death of losing her hair for chemo. So I completely understand, and I had another aunt that completely shaved her head just like you did and embraced her bald head and went, rawr, I'm woman and proud. So it is okay, you know what I mean? Like, So maybe that's why they wanted me to answer it because they knew how, how much it was weighing on your spirit, but they're just saying it's going to be okay and they want you to have that positive outlook because they are very... They're just very solid in the fact that they want you to remember it's just hair. It's just hair. You know what I mean? And I don't I don't see it going awful for you. I really don't. That's not the feeling they're going to... They're talking about you may have some tears, but it's not going to be tears of sadness. It's going to be like anxiety, happiness tears because this is like a big milestone is what they're talking about. Like, I, I, I don't know. It's generational in my family. Yeah... And 
I, I I've deal I've dealt with cancer not personally myself so don't take that the wrong way but I've dealt with cancer within my family and um, knowing what I know about energy and dis-ease within the body um, there's definitely um, I think there's a gap that we can bridge just as a community and as a collective between medical treatment for cancer but also treating the soul treating the treating the mind body energy i think that there's there's a coming together of those two things you know so i completely understand what you're doing dude have the best time thank you thank you thank you guys for all being here i know we kind of got a late start and we're missing our our group our peeps but i thank you guys for being here you know what i mean we're just chit chatting the day away for right now but the list is open. We are doing 12-12 for subscribers for general reads. And we are doing 15-15 for non-subscribers. So, Mags, I'm going to be real honest. If you're still here, I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be just fine, honey. You know what I mean? You know? Ah, welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in. I know this is kind of a weird time. We don't normally go this late. But yeah, so as far as Vestas Pizza. <laughs> Your name gets me every time. I try not to laugh the whole time. So, as far as Miss Mr. Pizza <laughs> goes. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's really what I do. Um, I choose water. Um, if I'm feeling too bogged down just to get everything flowing again and you could do it really simple by just placing your wrists and hands underneath a running faucet that's always really good um, you know obviously the thing that I think is is good on the go-to is definitely the you know the faucet but if I have a chance it's like full-blown full-body shower like letting it run over your crown and everywhere else. Um, you know what I mean? And you can even use water to target areas where you're holding in energy. So like if you get a lot of back pain, I don't know why I don't know why I feel the need to say this, but if you get a lot of back pain or shoulder stress or um, you can kind of lean your head forward and allow the water to hit that area and you can use a visualization, but you can also verbally ask the water to carry away that burden. Because they are saying that that is energy stuck and stagnant from the weight of the world that people carry on their shoulders. So that's kind of what they were talking about um, as far as that for you. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if that's something you deal with a lot or... You know what I mean? It might be. It might not be. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> Uh, everybody got jokes today. <sighs> welcome in, welcome in. I can't seem to get my... Let's see. I don't, no, my mod's not here. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can share without accidentally bringing somebody up again. Because one time... Well, not one time. It was yesterday. Yesterday, I wasn't even touching the screen. And somehow a guest like popped up and I was like, oh. <laughs> How's everybody doing? So is everybody having a good, what's today, Tuesday the 16th? Is everyone having a good 16th, which is 7? Which is the seeker number. What secrets are we seeking? Oof. Every card is landing upside down and not in reverse, just physically hidden from you. Ah. Uh. As the Seven of Wands pops out, as we're talking about, this is the seventh day. Sixteen, one plus six is seven, and seven being the seeker. Welcome in, welcome in. Um, yeah, so, um, I have Cash App and I have Venmo. So you can either go directly to the link in the link tree, or you can go to Cash App or Venmo and just type in Child of Balance. Um, no underscores, and you should find me. It will, like, make sure that it has the little bird logo, the crow, with the key, and that's me for sure. Um, 
just so you know you're sending it to the right person. You know what I mean? Like, so, just so you know. But yeah, otherwise you can click the link in the, in the link tree, and I can toss for you. It's 12-12 for subscribers and 15-15 for non-subscribers. So, no worries. Just come back in and when you donate and just let us know how you, you know, that you're ready, pretty much. <laughs> that you're ready. And uh, we'll try to do a little something for you. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. Hey, hey, hey. How have you been? Shruth? Shruthy? I'm pretty, I'm hoping to God I'm saying that correct. Because I think we went over this last time. But I'm going to be whole honest. When I'm on here, I'm like half in channel. So I don't remember 90% of what we talk about. Welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> How has your Tuesday been? Is your Tuesday been good? We've been living the dream. Like, what is happening? I saw you joined again. Are we are we living the dream, Shruti? What was I talking about? This the the seven the seven being the seeker. I can't even make this up. So today is the seven one six. One plus six is seven. We have the seven of wands out here. We have the king of coins and the two of swords. But you are blindfolded, and this is what um, they are talking about, is you being blindfolded and you not being able to see your way through. And this is part of the secrets. You can't see something. And as I said that, the secret card has come flying out, as well as the provide card. So the answer to the secret will be provided to you, is what they're making me is what they're drawing to me here. And this is like the funniest thing in the world because usually the Two of Swords is about choices. Usually the Two of Swords is about things like that, but that's not the way they're taking it right here. Right here, they're just pointing out the blindfold and they're just pointing out how you didn't see this secret. You were un like this, but you were unaware to the secret before you. And they're just talking about how you're moving out of that little bit of trickery and this is part of the energy that you're coming through. So today being a seven is no mistake. You are searching for something and you are seeking the answer to a secret or the mystery that just popped out. The mystery that you were unaware was even there. And this kind of takes me back to that message, but not the love part of the message. Just the phrase that says hidden in plain sight. This was just something I just threw on and ended up being a love message. Yikes. But... It was still really good context, and they just took me back right now to that hidden in plain sight. Pizza, you did? Okay, let me check. Hold on. Let me check. All right, I got you. Do you, do you just want me to go buy pizza or Vesta? <laughs> Is that what we rolling with today? <laughs> So, am I back and are you ready? <laughs> Bro, we always want good pizza. <laughs> Dude, I grew up on the East Coast, so pizza is like life, homie. Pizza is life. <laughs> how to make that make sense but pizza pizza's life okay so do you have a specific damn dude your energy is so fiery have you been like i i know you've been saying that you've been like you were saying that you were tired i'm pretty sure that was you but like i'm gonna tell you what though like underneath the tire there is fire I don't know how to say that, but underneath your tire, there is fire just, like, laying dormant, almost. Just, like, chilling out there. So I just want to let you know that. Like, you may be physically tired, you may be physically drained, but your, like, light body is like, Ooh. And that might be part of your drainage just because your light body has actually moved faster than your physical body. So your light body's ready to go, and now you got to wait for your physical body to like catch up is what it is what it feels like. So I get that more of your like down in the dump is like a rest for allow your physical body to recalibrate to handle the fire that is literally coming out your ass. Like I don't know how to make that make sense, but like somebody lit a fire like in the center of your being in the center of your light being, but they they're showing it to me and this is like the creepiest photo, so apologize. But they're quite showing it to me as like uh like you could be a rocket ship and 
from the fire that you emanate out of you. So I just want to let you know that you are a very fiery, sassy, sparky, like, kind of a person. Um, now, so, do you have a specific question that you would like me to feel? Oh, pfft, bro, I'm telling you, this energy is wild. Your energy is feeling all of, all of this sass right now. I'm just letting you know that. Like, totally all of your energy that I'm tapped into right now. Um... Would you like to... Do you have a problem staying on topic sometimes? Because it's like there's just like this little pull that is like... The second I go to go somewhere, it's like... Whoa! And it like kind of pulls you one way and then you kind of get back on track. I don't know how to make that make sense. But I think that's the a little bit of the chaos that happens with the way that your energy flows. You know what I mean? Do you see me going back to work? When and what should I be doing? So those are a lot of questions. So let's break it down one at a time. We'll start with the overarch of work, and I just have a feeling that that um, career will rear its head, and I think that it'll probably lead you... Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm a natural transmuter, so your energy is moving a mile a minute. Um, so it'll it'll naturally lead you to, to what you're thinking. Although, are you sure that I've... <sighs> My guides are asking me, Is are you sure that this is the question you want to ask? And this is, I'm, I'm a, I'm a be honest. That's not usually what I get, but they are asking if this is the question that you want to ask, like you're positive. You want to know about career. You don't want to know about anything else. Okay. They just, they're saying, so be it. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know if that, I don't know if you had something in the background or if this is the only thing you got, but I'm going to try to not, I'm going to try to not get too excited because then the electronics will start out, so. Has this topic been eluding you? And the only reason I say been eluding... <laughs> I'm... Bro, you are... You are chaotic, but in like a fiery chaotic, not like a drama chaotic. You are just chaotic in the way that your energy moves. It moves at a very unorthodox and random pattern, which is just a lot of fun, to be honest, for me. You know? But I have a feeling I could provide for my family. Solves all of them. Okay, so... Did you lose your job? And you don't need to actually answer that. You can just internally answer it. Um, and the only reason I say that is because we do have the sorrow card out here. We have the heartbreak. And we do have the four of wands upside down, which is usually leading into being not solid foundations. When I first pulled on just your energy in regards to work, what do I need to know? And this is what they threw out first. They threw out the four of wands upside down. So unsteady foundations, unsolid, a little bit of this. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. And you have a little bit of this, um, I don't want to call it a negative mindset because I don't really think that's it, but it is a more younger mindset, like, um, in the sense of being kind of childlike, um, when it comes to this work, to this work situation, and they're being very specific to call it a situation. Um, you do have the world card out here upside down, and we have the five of cups in reverse again, and they're just talking about you kind of being in this, they're, they're calling it stuck, but they really are drawing you back to the point that you just had a five come out, and they're taking me back to the number of five is forward movement. You're moving forward and they're just saying that this part of your life is not going to look like anything you envisioned and maybe this is what's drawing me back to this page of swords because you work in a mental capacity and I don't mean that you are mental. I don't mean a mental institution. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you work in a very logical reason kind of a way. You're smart. They're saying you're almost too smart to where you outsmart your common sense but in the way that you outsmart your intuition and I'm getting goosebumps so I hope that this those goosebumps are resonatory goosebumps, but they're talking about this five being directly leading into your forward movement. So even though this is not the path you would have chose to laid, have laid for yourself and you wanted something more secure because the security comes with that four of wands, you wanted something more secure and they're saying, quite frankly, you wanted it already. Like 
you were hoping that this was not going to be a part of your journey that you had to go down this moment in time. You were hoping that this was something that you wouldn't have to deal with and it would just kind of be a hero. I'm hearing someone say on lock. So I don't know if you say on lock and go like this or maybe that's one of your departed loved ones or your guides in general. But I am here. I'm physically seeing and hearing someone go on lock and like uh, play a like that is the type of energy here. So they have your back in all of this, but they are pointing out that you have both the two, the two, you have both the four and the five out here. And they're telling me to add them together to form nine. So this is your, this is a form of your completion. This is a form of what you're looking for. And then as I said, nine, I go to throw one more card and we get the 10 of cups. So this will end up being your emotional fulfillment. So let's see if we can figure out where you need to go. Oh, before we do that, they have this as being a growth point for you. And the only reason I say that is because directly underneath your page of swords, which I just said was they were starting to characterize it as you being in um, a little bit of a child mindset surrounding, um, they're kind of calling it your temper tantrum. And I don't mean to say that in a bad way and it's not a negative thing on you, but they're calling it your temper tantrum because this is wasn't, wasn't what you had planned and you were having problems and, and struggles kind of going around that because you're at an impasse of like, what do I do? Where do I go? Kind of a thing. But underneath that page, they throw out the queen of swords. So this is you knowing what you want. This is you moving forward, being mature in your mindset, but also being grounded. So this is really funny because we were just talking about specifically before this whole happened, we were just talking about your, you feeling sluggish, but you also going through an upgrade and your body catching up to your light body. So this is what they're talking about. So they're saying that this interlude period, that this moment in time where you didn't know what to do, you don't know what you're going to end up doing. And you're stuck here in your mind, because we're all working in the mind right here. You're stuck here going, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. And they're saying that that's the point. They they had you pause because you've had a lot of... They're talking about... They're really just harping on these energetic upgrades. And this I feel like this directly leads back into your passion, which is why your fire is so crazy right now, which is why it's stirring up inside you because they're saying it has nowhere to go. So you do need to find an outlet for your fire and your, your, your passion. You do need to find a way to get it out of your body um, so that it's more maintainable because when it's less swirling around, bouncing all over your energetic vessel, you're going to have a clearer mind. They're saying half of the, the chaos is getting stuck within mental loops. And then they're saying that that's what I was kind of alluding to before. I went to go start a sentence and then something pulled me this way to go talk about this. I went to go start again and something pulled me. And this is just the chaos of that fire that you naturally have inside you. And it's not bad, but fire can be a destructive force if it's not kept in balance. And it's not necessarily that they have you projecting on people. That's not it. But it's just a hindrance to what you're literally doing right now. And they're talking about if you can find an outlet for your fire, your passion, your spark, your creativity. Because they are being so, so certain that this is directly linked to your creativity. This is something that you do naturally. Like your fire, your passion, your oomph, your uh. That is all of you and they, they want you to put it somewhere. And they're saying right now it doesn't matter where you put it because you just need to put it somewhere. It could be drawing. It could be art. It could be playing with fire and abilities. It could be playing with your fire. It could be being a little pyro. It doesn't matter. They're just, you don't have a creative block. That's a lie. And they're screaming at me. They want you to know you don't have a creative block. You have too much creativity and no direction. You have too much. You need to you need to work with water. They're specifically talking about water. So when we alluded to it before, this must have been why. Um, you still are. Um, you still are. And I can like it's really creepy because I can hear you at the same time your your little things are coming up. Um, you still are. Um, you're. It's not that you're not a writer. You're judging the words you put down on paper. There's a difference. You're judging it as not good enough, not whatever. And what's happening is you're shutting off the flow that is your fire. So then your fire gets trapped and it starts your mental loops, which is distracting to you. So they want you to get it all out. It doesn't matter what it sounds like. You can burn it when you're done. You can throw it out. You don't have to keep what you write. 
you can write anything. The sky is blue. I like hot dogs. It doesn't matter. Just They want you to just start writing nonsense like you used to do in your journals. Way back in the day, you'd start writing nonsense. You wanted to write. You didn't know what to write about. And then all of a sudden, four pages later, you're into something good. They, they need you to, to retrain this part of yourself. They are entirely talking about the need like... Like the need for you just to get it flowing. And I think this is where they're pulling in the water. Not only is it going to dampen out some of your fire in a positive way. It'll it'll bring it back down from a chaotic destructive force that is catching you off track. Into more of a, of a steady burning fire. But water brings in the flow element. So water brings in the ability for you to flow in and out of what you need to do. And in order for you to capture, they're saying, and hold the flow, they want you to start playing with water. You know what I mean? You know? I'm sorry, I missed so much of what you said. Um, I used to be a writer. I'm concerned about the heartbreak card you pulled. Will I start a career and then lose it? I've been trying to read more to gain inspiration and start writing, but my kids don't let me. Oh my goodness, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, don't worry. No, I got the heartbreak card being more of 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 your emotional stance on where you're at right now. And you kind of, like, heartbreak was more of a loss, and that's why I asked you if you had lost your previous job, because they were highlighting it as a loss, but then you answered your own question in the comments. It was your loss of creativity in your mind, your loss of passion, your loss of the ability to write. You know what I mean? It's, it's, um, they're talking about like, it's almost like not enough time in the day kind of deal, but they do have you. If you can, if you can give your passion, uh, an outlook, I do have the page of coins out here, which is which is telling me it's going to be a fruitful new beginning. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is where your wheel starts again. And they have it out here as a bridge, which means that this is cur something you're currently, you know, been working on. I'm a Sama. And it hurts me to know I've been out of work for eight years. Sam? Sam? Saham? Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just need to say, and I know keys can speak on this. I just need to say you have not been out of work for eight years. If you are a stay at home mom and I will fully stand on my hill and die on it. You are not out of work. If you are a stay at home mom, but if that is how you view it, that is how your energy will view it. So that's what they're talking about, about this five of cups and this, uh, this heartache, it's because you took on responsibilities which were 100% necessary and there's nothing wrong with you did. You need to realize that it's not a wrong choice. But you took on that responsibility and you feel as though, you feel as though, according to this, that you literally stopped a passion and this is what is getting your fire aggravated because it has no outlet. However, they do have you starting again, you know what I mean? They've literally asked me in a job interview, what have you been doing this whole time? I've been raising a beautiful family. I have been helping grow the next generation in a positive way because it's clear public schools ain't doing it. That should be the answer to that. Preach, hands to the sky. Um, I was taking care of my family. I chose to stop my career because my children and my husband needed me. Like, you have so many good answers to that. You needed what was done, and at that time, for the last eight years, your home and your house and your family was your priority, and you should never feel bad about that. And I will stand on that hill, and I will hold your flag and die with you. That is fine. But that's the type of energy that, that they want you to put your fire into. Like, no, I did what I need to do. You can hold your judgments. And then that's what they want you to know that... That you didn't lose something and oh my god. I don't know. Do you have shoulder problems? Because, or someone just pinched me. Like somebody just came up and like, it's like they put their hand and like pinched. And it's like, what? And that hurt like a mother. I just kept getting knocked up so I kept staying home. And you know what? Like, 
That's, that's like, and this is my right shoulder, even though it probably looks backwards to you. Maybe it's mirrored, but this is my right shoulder. So a hundred percent. Thank you for the live. Thank you for the share. But they're directly talking about, this is your new beginning. This is your wheel turning. So they want you to work with your water. Like, like, let's just do a quick review. They want you to work with your water element to balance the chaotic destructive force of your fire, which is causing a lot of the brain fog and the looping and the negativeness to your current situation. That's one. Two, they want you to start working with your writing again, which is your creative outlet, which will give your fire a beautiful place to be, regardless is if you are a stay-at-home mom or not. That's not the point here. But both of those in tandem is what gets your wheel turning again. We have this out as a bridge, and they're talking about you embodying this Queen of Swords energy now, like we talked about, growing from the child mindset from the Queen of Swords, from the Page of Swords into the Queen of Swords bridging through is what's going to be those two things specifically is what's going to be rotating your wheel so your bright new beginning your 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 um know better do better your karmic return your cause and effect whatever you want to call it this is your wheel and this is leading you directly out to your page of coins so they're talking about being a page of coins and it being a small but humble beginning is the, literally the words that they're using small but humble beginning and they're just talking about the page being the baby starter to a bigger a, like a like a bigger more abundant thing for you like and this is yep the wisdom card just came out what were we just talking about the wisdom card just came out they're literally talking about you cultivating as the queen of swords all that you have learned and putting it to some good fucking use so this is what's going to start bridging together your ten of cups this is your emotional fulfillment writing is what you love doing but it's being creative and expressing yourself is the core of what you love doing. And they're just saying that you got away for that from whatever reason, but now it's time to get it back. And it's okay. You can be pregnant and get it back because they're saying you got to you got to remember that you are a priority. What you have going matters. So if you can't fill your own cup, which is this 5 of cups, right? All the cups are empty. If you can't fill your own cup, then you can't fill the cups of your children. So you need to give to you first. So you have things to give to them. Energy, emotions, uh, thoughts. You, you need to give to yourself so much that all five of those cups overflow. So that they can fill their cups from under your cup. So they it can overflow and fill into their cup. The problem is when you stopped your creative flow. And you took the mindset of I'm out of work and I'm a stay at home mom which we, we just talked about is not a thing. And honey, I'm not going to let you do that to yourself. Being a stay-at-home mom is work and I don't even care. They're talking about when that happened, you stopped filling your own cup. So what's been happening is you've been pouring your cup into their cup so you can give them fulfillment and love and attention and all the things a mother should give in the way that you felt that you could best support your family and all these foundations, which is this four of wands that we were talking about, all these foundations, you know? And they're just saying that now is the time to take it back because you are full of fire, you know? You are full of fire. And this is part of the secrets of wisdoms, but this is part of the collaboration that you are. You know what I mean? But see, but that's but that's the thing. You can't look at it as work. You are just you are just giving to yourself everything else. And we have the victory card out here. This is all good things for you. But they're saying in order for you to give to them, you have to give to yourself. So you need to make yourself a priority again. You need to make yourself something that you have time for. Even if it's 30 minutes when all the kids are asleep. Even if it's 30 minutes when you wake up and you sip in coffee and you buy yourself. Grab a journal. Start writing. It doesn't even matter what it's like. And they, they're being very specific. Don't judge it. You have all this fire and I can feel it. It almost knocked me off my chair when we first started. You have all of this fire. They're telling you your work, your ability to what you're calling find work, your ability to find work lies directly in your passions. Lies directly in your passions because they're not they're not talking about it like this is a job you're going to have to endure until you get a better job. No, they're talking about like you have the ability within you to get right into your passions right now. Like the like the road is laid, but they're just at they're like this is going to sound so bad. Don't take it personal. They're saying put up or shut up. And put up or shut up has been a, a been the thing that's been going on this whole time. They're saying we're giving you the tools 
of what to do should you want to enter into your passions and be successful at it and start a small, they're, they're using the word nest egg, nest egg, starting a small nest egg, um, which would be your pays of coins, which would be your physical abundance is, is making its way to you. That would be the messenger of, you know, it's coming your way. But they're saying you need to fully embody this queen of swords and you need to fully embody your passions and you need to fully embody your emotional new beginnings. And this is where it all links together. We have the victory card out here. And that was the final card on your entire toss today. This is literally happening for you, but they're saying it's not, it's not happening to you. So it's going to require some work. So you have to you have to balance out your chaos fire with water. And then you have to give yourself time and space to put your fire, which is your creativity, your passion, to good use. And they're just saying that it'll find you. Either the the job posting of a lifetime will find you, or you will take your creativity and do something yourself, whether that be a book or um, a blog or something. There's gonna be something that is like it's. It, they're just with the wheel out here they're just making me feel like it's just gonna happen but you have to do the prep work that leads up to it but they're saying as far as this goes and they are going somewhere else hold on as far as this as far as this goes for the family life The beneath opens up to you. This is talking about the opening up of opportunities, but also the opening up of self. And when it comes to to your fire, that's what you need to have opened up and communicated. And they're just talking about, like, as far as it comes to your family, it's, it's going to form a coming together. Because I get the feeling like maybe things don't necessarily feel super, super close at the moment. Um, I just keep hearing, like, we've had better years. Um... And I think that that has a lot to do with, with your inner struggle right now, your inner battle. Um, but they are, I do have the coming together card out here. I do have um, the reconnection of, of like tender souls. And it's kind of like a, it's a 10 card, so it is completion. Um, but it's completion that brings, that bridges into a new beginning. Because when you do the divine root of 10, um, or digital root is 1, which is a new bold beginning. And then the beneath, okay, this is wild. What were we just talking about? Forward movement? Like, the 23, 2 plus 3 is 5. We were just highlighting 5s before. But this is all talking about positive forward movements. You know what I mean? So, okay, perfect. If you and your husband are coming out of it, like, this is, like, I just want to show you the card. This is the coming together of souls. This is you and him rekindling. That's what that means. That little butterfly in the beginning, or in the middle, I don't know if you can see it, that little butterfly... That is the rebirth. That is you handing him a butterfly. That is this is just showing you guys reconnecting on a deeper on a deeper level. This is a completely different deck than the three out here so far. The nurture card. They're asking you to nurture yourself so that you can nurture everything else. Like you are truly, when it comes to this family, the matriarch. And I'm going to say, I, I don't know you personally, but like, in the energy here, you are truly the matriarch. You lead by example, but you also lead with caring, you lead with love, and you lead with purpose. The fact that you're able to hold space for him is great, you know? And the fact that you are juggling so much and the picture of the lady in the nurture card she's holding so so many things in her hand they're bringing me back to the juggling act that you do every day but they're just saying you you're coming to the point of burnout in your own energy field and this is when you have to nurture yourself you have to give back to yourself because you are a giver and if you don't replenish what you give you can't give from an empty cup and they're challenging you to, to rethink about how you do things. It's not, it's not, I keep hearing the word selfish. It's not selfish. You know, I know you are, hun. Dude, I totally, I can feel it. It's, it's like, it's not selfish to give to yourself. But it's exactly what you need to do. You need to give to you because nobody else can give to you. You are the matriarch of this family, and I don't know how to make that make sense. If that make, I hope that makes sense to you. I know it does, but I just I can't elaborate on it right now because the energy is so. But like, 
people look to you. You are the thing that keeps it together. You are the one that holds everything together. But that is a lot of weight. So in order for you to be able to be the strong, feminine, divine energy that you are, you know what I mean? You, you have to embrace all that you are. And that's the good and the bad. But that's also taking time for you. I feel like I lose my patience too much. You do. But that's the destructive force of your fire. That is the destructive force of your fire. That's why we have to give your fire an outlet. We have to give your creativity an outlet. But that's the thing. It, if you give your fire an outlet, it won't build to the point of combustion. Because that's what that is. You lose your patience. That's that inner agitation. So that's why I said we need to give your fire an outlet. So writing, using creativity in any sort of way, but having you time... And I know as a mom that is so hard, especially when you have younger kids, that is so hard. But you can do it a half hour after they go to bed, you know, put them to sleep, me time. And then you can go do stuff. You can find you time while doing laundry. You can find you time while prepping lunches. It's just so long that your presence is on you and what you need. You can do it in the morning when you're sipping coffee. Journal a little bit. Do a little bit of writing. Do a little sketching. Grab a coloring book. If you don't even want to think about anything and you just want to have mindless things, pick up pick up a coloring book and start coloring. There are adult coloring books and it's the same thing. They both equate into meditative states, but they are meditative states that work with your creativity and we have to give your, your fire an outlet. So pull in your water element to simmer down the destructive force of your fire and get your creativity flowing because right now it's just pent up and it's being choked out. Not enough air. You know what I mean? Not enough air. So get your, get your fire flowing and then, and then you can then put it towards your passion, your creativity, and that'll be giving it an outlet to where you aren't as agitated to where you don't have a short fuse because they're, they're highlighting a short fuse where you don't have a short fuse even though even though you make up for it and it's not a big thing and it's just little things they're just saying that this is what's going to bring everything back together you just ignored yourself for too long is what they're saying and they're saying you're, you're worth it so we don't need to ignore you anymore so i i hope that that helps you and i hope that that gives you some insight on on what you have going on right now and i know that went from a simple career question into a whole life perspective, but that's how my team rolls. And they're saying you got other things to worry besides just a job. You know what I mean? Like you're totally worth it. And you got so much going for you, bro. Like not even funny. Like just, just remember, dude, you, you're like it, bro. You know what I mean? Like you're the shit. Like, and I don't, I don't mean to say that to pat your ego, but like, you're the shit. You have the energy to get some serious shit done on this planet. You know what I mean? But you know what? You have to give yourself that happy life, down here this happy life, before you can give it to anybody else. You can't give you can't give somebody what you haven't experienced or don't have within yourself. So you need to find your happy life first, which is going to be creativity which is going to be having an outlet and it's going to be balanced between all of your stuff but exactly yeah and that's that page of of swords energy that childlike mindset that you're to blame for something that something is your fault that that you failed there is no failing you're showing up every day your kids have food water shelter they are clothed you are at home like i mean you are providing. That's why the provider card fell out. You are providing. But now it's time to like do the next step. And it's care for you again. You know what I mean? So that you can elevate the level of care you give to the whole family. Like that's what that's about, dude. You're going to be just fine. But I highly suggest you do what Spirit's talking about. You know what I mean? But thank you so much for, for allowing me in your space and in your energy um, I appreciate it a hundred percent of the, you know what I mean? And I, I hope that that helped and it, it, you know, helped in some, in some way, shape or form, <laughs> in some way, shape or form, <laughs> you know, thank you guys for being here. 
Oh my god, no, you're fine. Oh no, I'm on like level 400 today. Oh no, you're not draining me. I got bare feet on the ground. We are we are always planted, ass in the seats. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. No worries. I appreciate you so much, dude. And if you ever need anything, just let us know. We have a whole website. Um, www.childbalance.com There's a free tree of knowledge there that, like... That has a whole bunch of different topics, and it doesn't cost you a single thing. So, like, it's, it's not it's not a money thing. But there's a bunch of different topics on there as it regards to the elements, grounding, breath work, shadow work, uh, creativity. Uh, like, there's just, there's just a whole bunch of stuff on there. And you might find something that you really drive with. So, like, I encourage you to check it out. It might help a little bit. Um just understanding parts of self and it kind of has some spiritual rabbit holes that people like to like you know we kind of introduce and then people can go down the rabbit hole as they see fit so that's in the link tree in the bio so if the website's on there and you can peruse it and have fun to your heart's desire welcome in guys thank you so much for being here i know that we are I'm always chaotic, but it makes me funny. It does. You know what? Your fire is what is what gives you a big personality, and that's fantastic. But we just have to make sure that your fire works for you, and that's just the balancing. You are still funny when your fire is in balance. Like, when your fire is in balance, you know what I mean? But that's why they're saying otherwise it just is a distraction to you. Oh, no. The second you ask that question, like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they seem to do that a lot, I'm gonna be real honest, but the entire, like, time that you, like, at, from the second you asked that question, my team was like, that's not the question she wants to know, and I was like, okay, well, I'm like, I can ask, uh, but, <laughs> yeah, that that's how we do it over here, yeah, it's definitely not just easy, quick reads, they definitely got some weight to them, <laughs> but I appreciate it. So, guys, I probably have, like, room on the list for, like, one more question because I started kind of late today. Um, I didn't get here to, like, two-something. But, uh, so if you guys would like a read, um, it is 12-12 for subscribers and 15-15 for non-subscribers. Um, I have Cash App and I have Venmo. Um, and, yep, that's how you get on the list. Just make sure you come back. Let us know how you donated. That way we don't miss you. Welcome in, welcome in. Let me just make sure I have a notification. Nope, we're good. Welcome in, welcome in. I probably got one more spot on the list today. If you guys have any collective questions, um, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And I don't mind touching base. But if it requires me to feel into you directly, then it does require a paid space. And I'm sorry, but... It's just because, as you can see, that we like we go so big in this in stuff that everything is a layered topic. It's not you typically an easy question. Oh my God! Thank you so much. Thank I've seen your name several times, so I I a hundred percent like I appreciate it so much. Um, I honestly and keys can. Uh, account for this too like with with her page as well like we really just put out what we're told to put out when we're told to put it out um even today it was a love message and i rolled my eyes i kept switching decks and my team was like bitch you're gonna do it like and i was like shit so then i just was like well i'm gonna bite the bullet i'm gonna be that love reader on on talk <laughs> you know so i appreciate it but i'm just glad that they find people when they need them like I, it always makes me giggle when people, like, will comment or like, like, a really old video. And they're like, oh, my God, this is so on point. And it just makes me laugh because I'm like, that was, like, a month ago and this is so awesome. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, this is so awesome that, like, a month-old video just found somebody and, like, blew their mind. Like, <laughs> you've made some posts about having an ability increase and I've been feeling that. Oh, my God. It's insane. Like, and... I always talk it like, um, like, like the way that I always go about it is, is literally like we're here in people call it earth school, whatever reincarnation, it doesn't really matter, but we're here to also be human. Like, okay. Did I blow it? I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just being goofy. Um, uh, how do you want me to blow your mind? But there are some people here that um, that they forget that they're here to be human too. You know what I mean? Like, so sometimes like my team will shut me off, and I and I say shut me off. You know what I mean? Because um, I just don't stop. Like, I get messages throughout the day, all the time, blah, 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 blah. Like, sometimes they make sense, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they mean something for me, sometimes they're collective, sometimes they mean something for my friends or family. I have dead people popping in, popping out. Sometimes it can make sense of what they want, other times I can't and they annoy the shit out of me. And it's just my life, you know what I mean? So, like, sometimes when I have to be very present in the moment and not in tune to a million other things, they will shut me off. You know what I mean? Um... I'm sorry, I totally missed what you said because I was talking. Uh, I almost got food for a man in a parking lot. My intuition said not to, and I was feeling guilty when I got back outside. He was gone. Spirit don't want me to waste my money. <laughs> Bro, but you know what? Sometimes, sometimes that happens, and you just got to follow it. You have to follow it. That's the whole thing. Like, if you get called to do something, and, and I've been called to walk up to complete strangers, you know what I mean? Like, like they always say, like, you know, don't give you know, people on the side of the street money, but, like, at least when I grew up there, like, don't, don't do that, especially when you're around the cities, you know, so, a lot of times, like, I would walk by and I, like, you don't really do that, you know, because half of them are panhandling and they're not actually, you know, poor in a bad spot and they're just using the, you know, they're just doing weird stuff, they drive off in cars, it's just, I don't know, it's just weird, but I've had that the opposite way to where I'm like, man, I don't know. And I like handed the guy like to 20 bucks or something. And he had like a full blown like breakdown. I see you. Hold on. He has like a full blown like breakdown. And then started crying about how his life has been so hard. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I was like, do you want to get like food? Like, you know what I mean? And um, so sometimes just stuff like that's just super like humbling, you know? Um, so I try to just do what I'm called. And keys, keys is the same way. Like, I can't tell you how many times we call somebody and we're like, I just think that I need to call you today. Do you want to tell me why? And then all of a sudden, it's just like four hours later. Like, I feel like Patrick Starr with the cue card. Five hours later. And we're like, oh, that makes sense now. Um, tell, tell me something. Hello from Yakima YA. Or WA. Please do cards. I just bought intention cards. What is intention cards? What is intention cards? Is that like is that like affirmation cards or is that like these? Okay, hold on. Is that like these cuz I actually love these? Is that like these where they're like they have a little thing and then they have like a little thing on the front cuz I I call this my sassy cards and this requires no intuition at all, but they're just hysterical especially when you shuffle them like tarot. Um and then they're just blunt and my team throws out the sassiest cards ever um and it makes me giggle every single time yeah so um to be honest i didn't start with tarot or oracle <coughs> i've had my cards for like a year maybe um <coughs> i don't typically use them a lot especially not the way they're traditionally supposed to be used um I do a lot of, like, direct communication through energy and feeling and, um, channeling, some people call it. Um, so these are just mostly here for, like, representations and I can hold something up. Or if I'm told, like, in the last read, I was told to highlight certain characteristics of certain cards or, or, like, when we were tossing Collective today, like, the Two of Swords came out, but they weren't talking about decisions. They were just talking about how something was to be revealed and you were blindfolded. Um, so sometimes things just don't come out normal for me, you know, but I think anything you use is a tool and I always tell people that I work with that they're just tools that you don't require them to do what you do. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, I do. Miss Katie. I do. Or Caitlin. Hold on. Caitlin. I do. Um, I have been doing it naturally since I was uh, five is my oldest memory of doing it, but I'm sure probably before then I just wasn't, not active memory. Um, yeah, my first ever dead person um, was my grandfather on my mom's side. 
Um, I can't right now. I have to pop off here. It's 3.13, and I have to head to a client at 4. Um, I don't have enough time, because I'll be off here in 15 minutes. I don't have enough time to, to link a connection um, with a past person, because I don't have anybody cur currently um, in my room hanging around right now. So that means I would have to like establish um, uh, an outreach and almost like call them in from your side um, in, in a in an odd way. Um, and sometimes that just takes a lot more time because some other people will try to jump in and be like, oh, she's talking about me. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And then like we have to sift through five people to get through who you want. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, does it look like this? And you're like, no, that's not that. I'm like, okay, next. <laughs> like, um, so sometimes it's, it's harder than uh, pre-described. I think I messed with I got postage notice to pick up a package from Belfast. It's lost. Any idea what it could be? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. You got a notice to pick up your package, but the package is lost. If you got a notice to pick up your package, your package should be at the bell. Like, I don't know if you're in Belfast, but it should be at the thing. What do you mean it's lost? And any idea where your lost package is or like what's in your lost package? Um, I'm so sorry, Tarina. I cannot pull on Roberto's energy, um, but um, I definitely can pull for you, although I wouldn't pull on that question. That's kind of an invasion of his energetic privacy, um, but I completely, uh, I completely uh, appreciate the question. I just definitely would not be able to answer it because it delves in his energy and not yours. Um, sorry, but that's, that's a hundred percent the truth. I got about 15 minutes on here. So if anybody has any, um, questions for the collective that they would like me to answer, I don't mind doing it. Otherwise I'll probably end up popping off here. Um, if you are not a member of our website, you should totally join the website a thousand percent. Like it is free to join. It'll never cost you money. Um, I, we don't spam you. I wouldn't do that. That's ridiculous. Um, but there's a lot of cool things that are available to you on our website. One of which being the ability to gain points. So as you interact with the website, you gain points. And points equates into money off of services. Like directly equates into money off of services. Hey, Tanya. And um, so a lot of what um, you can do there is we have a handmade shop and they're handmade items by us and our teams. Um, anything from candle magic kits to herbs to teas or, or bath teas to handmade macrame. We also just did um, we also just did a meditation um, for your root chakra using the sacred frequency of of uh, 396 hertz. Um, and anything purchased there is dollar for dollar, um, point system. So $5, five points, $10, $10, 10 points, so on and so forth. But we also have a free tree of knowledge, which is a hundred percent free all the time. Never cost you any money, not to view it, not to read it, not to interact with it, not nothing. Um, but we post there three times a week and every Monday is a free mini tarot read or Oracle read. It's just an intuitive read that projects the week ahead for the collective. And then Wednesday and Saturday is intuitive, um, knowledge and other things like that. And like intuitive knowledge and, uh, wisdom insight, um, anything from shadow work, breath work to energy stuff, to herbology, crystallology, um, to, uh, spiritual, uh, egotism and psychosis down to, like, everything under the sun, really. Candle magic. I mean, just so much cool stuff on there. And we post that twice a week. And we have, like, over 100-something posts. So they're just really cool snippets for you guys to kind of get an introduction into something or basic information. You know, it's just, it's really fun. And you can go down plenty of rabbit holes, so check that out. But we also have a slew of services. 
So you can gain points there. So right now the lowest point system is 200 points is 20% off any of our services. Um, we also have a free service, which is like if you don't know where to start or what to do, you can totally check us out and we, we will do a free 15-minute phone consultation where we field your questions and we can tell you where to go and what to sign up for and this kind of stuff. So, if you're, Or if you have questions about any any of the services just in general, that's a great way. Um, the other way that you can join um, or the other way that you can gain points would be through our subscriptions. So if you are a subscriber to either this page that we're live on right now whoop, or Miss Keys of Wisdom 369, um, for every month you're an active subscriber, you get five points per page. So if you're a subscriber to both of us, that's 10 points every single month. But we can only save your points. No, it doesn't cost anything. Zero dollars. We don't have, we don't have, uh, no, I don't make membership any money. Nope. 100% free. Nope. Cost you nothing. It never will. Um, but you can just gain points. So even if all you do is, if, if you're a subscriber on here and that's all you do, you do that for X amount of months, like, would it be 20 months or whatever, or if you're both of us, like, you know what I mean? You can easily get to 200 points. Should you ever choose to use a service, you just gained a coupon on your first service. Like, that, we're just trying to give back. But if you're also a subscriber, you get a couple of other things, too. So, you also get, um, on my page, you get exclusive subscriber content. That isn't anywhere else. And it's not just card pulls for the collective. It is intuitive um, exercises. It's delving in some energy stuff. You might get some recipes for either tea, like herbal teas or bath or bath soak recipes. And it's just a lot of different things. Um, food for thoughts, questions, like shadow work stuff. It's just more content that isn't available anywhere else. But we also do subscriber prices on live reads like we did today. So today we did 12-12 for subscribers instead of 15-15. Um, like we just try to give back in so many different ways. And if you're really into the free content because you're not sure if you want to invest in yourself right now, that's 100% fine. Believe me, I understand that fam, 1000%. We are also on other platforms besides TikTok. Like we're on Instagram. We're also on YouTube. YouTube is so great and it is undervalued. It is a million times undervalued. Like, if you're on YouTube, we have every single one of our TikTok videos from my page, Miss Keys of Wisdom, and um, also Miss Rooted Intentions, you know. Um, oh, thanks so much. I'll check you out. Um... We have all of that stuff in one place, and it's all separated into playlists. So you can view all of our content day by day in chronological order, um, or you can keyword search it at any time that you guys want. We also have meditation playlists that are on there. Um, so it delves into frequency, sound bowls, chakras. There's just a ton of really cool stuff that you can find that is 100% free. It costs you nothing. You know what I mean? So feel free to take a look at it. Um... We are, we do delve into how-to videos on there, uh, herbal bundles, teas, planting, uh, repotting plants. Like we just have a bunch of different stuff and we're only going to continue to grow. This is not the bottom. This is just the top. You know, uh, wait, this is not the top. This is just the beginning. And that's what I was going to say, but that's not what came out of my face hole. So I'm sorry, but this is just the beginning. We are still building and we are still growing. Um, but we're trying to build community above all else. So just keep keep in mind, you know what I mean, like check back frequently, especially with services. Um, I am going to, in the next month or so, open up energy classes. How's it going, Violet? What is up, dude? I'm going to open up energy classes and I'm going to open up um, energy courses so you can get working with your chi and your prana and working directly within your, your chakra systems and you starting to feel into your energetic light body because it's not just what I can do for you. I don't like to teach like that. I like to teach people how to do for themselves. So it's not come to me and I'll fix you. Ew, gross. You know, it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be giving you the tools in order to help yourself. You know what I mean? So... This is going to be a really big thing, so just keep on checking in, and I will see all of you guys later on. It is 3.23 on the clock, and palindromes have been huge, and if you have been going through upgrades lately, 
just know that this is the point. This is the reason. You were separated in order to learn yourself, and now we're being reconnected. This is part of it. Um, we were separated into one to come together as one, is the way that they always say it in my space. So just keep it in mind. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for sharing the love and the space and the time and your energy today. We will be later, we will be here later on. Like a thousand percent, we will be here later on tonight around 8 or 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to keep the same prices as now because I know that we came on late and I didn't have much time. So I'm giving you guys the, the option to also do subscriber prices later tonight. So we are doing 12.12 for subscribers, 15.15 later tonight at 8 o'clock to 8.30, you know what I mean, Eastern Standard Time. So come back, see us. You can pop on the list for a read at that time, and I hope to see you guys all there. Thank you so much. Bye.